I'm still working on it, guys. I'm still working on a theme song for the virtual classroom. Can they see this, Ernie? Mm-hmm. This is a very, very special instrument, and we're going to talk about this when we get to resource of the day. Remind me, okay? I don't want to forget. Now, it's time to welcome all the friends to the 47th edition of the Virtual Classroom. We made it, guys. It's May 21st, the year 2020. It is Thursday. Some people like to call Thursday Little Friday, but it's really Thursday, okay? And it's, it is indeed day 47. And I am still wearing my buzz necklace. I am not ready to let go of World B Day. I don't think Jingle B is ready to let go of World B Day either. Because we have a lot of B activities in our team content. Should we get right to it? Yes. I think so. It's now time for <laughs> or team content, something like that. I think that's how you say it in B. All right. I, Anj, busy as always, turned in three artifacts of learning. He did the spray paint. He's actually the one who gave us the idea for the spray paint. So, and he did one, and he didn't do it with flowers. This time he did it with some of his construction toys, which was really interesting. And then he did an A to Z spelling challenge. He was challenged to write a word for, 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 for every letter of the alphabet, and he did it with great spelling. And we got a chance to see him at the virtual play date. So thank you for coming, Ayansh. You said play date, I think. Oh, it's really virtual play time, right? Mm -hmm. I should get my uh, title straight. We also got a chance to see Eddie at the virtual play time. He had a big, big box of animals. It was awesome. And Adam, he and his sister Isla, boy, oh boy, they were at the virtual play date. They have like a sea of animals at their house. It was fascinating. Adam also challenged himself to find Minnesota and draw Minnesota. And I think we're gonna do a little bit more talking about that tomorrow, because I wanna show you, I wanna show you more of Minnesota. And, and thank you for coming to, uh, to the virtual playtime. I'd like to thank the siblings for coming. Uh, Eddie's siblings were all there. Uh, Adam's sister was there. I bet his brother was taking a nap or something. And my hair was definitely there, and Anzel made it too. And oh boy, Anzel and my hair had a wonderful bee dance. And they followed that up with a whole idea, a video about bee facts. And then they even saw a bee and got a little bit scared and ran away. It was very, very fun to see those videos. Thank you for sharing them, and thank you for coming to our virtual play date. That was fun. Play time, not ah, play date. Ah, it again, virtual play time. <laughs> Might as well get the right title, right? Mm -hmm. Sienna was there at our virtual play time, and, and uh, as always, it was wonderful to see many of her animals. She, she even showed us some of the unicorns. Uh, <laughs> instead, Instead of finding Minnesota on the, well, I guess she had to find Minnesota, but then she decided to munch Minnesota. She took a cracker and whittled it down with her teeth into the shape of Minnesota. And then she found some other states. She found North Dakota. I think she found Tennessee. There's another state I'm missing. But she was, she was actually making states with her crackers. That was a fun idea. I'd like to do that as an activity, but... Imagine trying to make 50 states out of crackers. That would just be, that would be really fun. <laughs> she made, uh, she had a tube project. She didn't have enough tubes to do stackers, so she just decided to make a butterfly puppet. It looked really cool. And then also, uh, uh, each week, Sienna is participating in virtual ballet lessons. So I got a chance to see a video about what a virtual ballet lesson looks like. And um, Sienna's mom and dad think that, you know, it, Ver having little things to look forward to in the week has been very helpful for Sienna. And I think we're all going to be very challenged as, as this, these COVID times go forward because I know the virtual 
uh, classroom has been a very anchoring experience for all of us, and it, it's coming down to its end. Uh, after tomorrow, we'll only have 10 more sessions left. So, wow. so, so we're going to have to start challenging ourselves to think about what will keep us centered over the course of summer vacation. And uh, I think that's something we're all going to have to think about. We can think about it together. Bodhi showed up to the virtual playtime yesterday, and he's been playing Play-Doh fossils, and he shared what, with us what seems to be, I think he called it a Stegosaurus fossil. It was a real skull with a real jawbone, and uh, he was telling us all about it. He, he had to clean it up. He, he had a whole process for getting it ready, and he showed everybody at the virtual playtime this amazing skull. So... That was fascinating to see. I was so glad we had a chance to do that. And I was really impressed with all of your effort to, to be patient with one another while we shared churns. You kids are doing a great job being patient with each other. So that's really helpful. I, I, I'm glad we can meet. We'll have two more virtual play times coming up. The theme to the next one is dance. So start practicing. Get your dancing shoes on. Get some good dancing music. We're going to be dancing. Thanks I, from Sienna's mom, that idea. She came up with it, right? Mm hmm That was wonderful. Well, again, thank you to Adam, Sienna, Eddie, Ayanch, Meher, Bodhi, Ernie, and myself for making it to the virtual playtime. Did I spell it right? Yes, virtual playtime. Not virtual play date. Not play date. No, we're not going to call it that. And we better set up the, the idea for the, today's activities. Now, this is the first one is called Shape Hunt in Nature. So, number one, find as many shapes as you can, but here's the but part. They all have to be shapes provided by Mother Nature. So, we're looking at plants, rocks, trees, pine cones. clouds, pine cones, flowers. Did I say flowers? Flowers. Mm. How many natural shapes can you find? And can you name all the shapes? So that's a fun challenge. It'll, keep, keep, it'll get you outside, and it's a good day to get outside because I think there's some weather coming in starting tomorrow. Uh, crumple art is number two. Now, this was an activity that Miss Sarah's children had done um, in their classroom, in their virtual learning, and it sounded like such a great idea, I decided to include it in ours this week. And you can learn how to tie-dye paper and make it into stationery. And then, after you do this and it dries out, can you use your crumple art to write a letter to a friend or a relative? Especially one you miss a lot. It's important to write to them. It's important to help them know how much you miss them. And then today, we're going on an F hunt. We're going to find some Fs. Hunt throughout your house and find all the F things you can. Oh, was that a perfect pattern? Before we explore our uh, F cans, yes. I think I better do some ringing here. Ready? Perfect pattern! All right. All right, come on down, Ernie. We're going on an F hunt. We're going, We're going to find some Fs. All right, of course, we always have our tracing card, right? Mm-hmm. And what on earth is this? Fence. F -f -f fence. Did you hear the? F? Mm -hmm. When you ever when you hear a, f, it's probably an F. Fish. Fish. P H makes a f sound too. So sometimes that can be a little confusing. Of course we have our F bot. And what do we have here? A fork. It's a fork. Fork. Oh, who do we have here? Farmer! It's a farmer! Farmer! And finally, we have a little flower. flower. No, the farmer tends the flower. I am F-Bot. I am presenter of the Fs. I am F-Bot. I like the Fs. These are my F-Things. Well, thank you, F-Bot. Thank you for sharing your F-things with us. Now the kids have to go around their house and find all the F-things. You have a few ideas here? 
Go around your house, make a great long list, okay? Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have an idea to make something. Farmer Pitchfork takes care of the flowers, so he's using his pitch. The farmer's using his pitchfork to take care of the flowers. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. Well, thank you for setting that up for us. Now, today's resource of the day, this is a special one day only resource of the day because Google is featuring a wonderful segment on their front page about a very special instrument from Zimbabwe, Africa. It's called an Mbira. Can you say Mbira? Yeah, Mbira. This is an Mbira. And it's a thumb piano. You can even make your own. I'll see if I can find some good instructions. Maybe you can make your own next week for one of our daily threes. This is a professional one made from a gourd. And you pluck it with your thumbs. And if you want, visit Google today, because they have an Embira game. And it's four different chapters, and you can learn all about Embira music from Zimbabwe, Africa. And you also get a chance. Here's how, here's how they're making the Embira. But I'm gonna skip to the I'm gonna skip to the game part. You get to have an Embira game as as the little dots fall, you get to help learn and play a new song. So you know Google has these little things that come out, and so this is only probably going to be active today. So I encourage you all to check that out. I wanted to show you where Zimbabwe is, too. I have my globe. Zimbabwe is this purple nation in southern Africa, right here. If you can get your um, finger out. You see that? I can show it then. And then I'll pan out so you can see the whole continent of Africa. Oh boy, it's going to be a special, special gift to learn more about this wonderful instrument. And I thank my wife, Eileen, for sending, for sharing this. She was starting to get busy with her work today and she said, Well, I've gone down the wormhole. I found this awesome virtual Lembira site. So we'll post that, a link to that, so you can try it too. And I, I, I will, again, look for an activity where maybe you can build your own thumb piano. Sounds so pretty, I love it. Okay, I have a big announcement here. The teachers at Harley got together yesterday and we decided something. We are gonna have a parade at Harley Hopkins. So I want you to save the date, okay? This is an important date. It's June 3rd, 2020. It's a Wednesday. And from 10.30 to 11.30, the Harley teachers are gonna be outside and you can drive by in your car and we're gonna clap and wave and play music and celebrate you, okay? And all the families can make a parade into Harley. And we can, we can at least have a chance to see each other from a safe social distance. So put that on your calendar. That's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, or you could do write that down on the Sunday news. Later. I'm definitely going to announce it many times. Miss Kathy told us, tell the families many, many times about this. So we can try to have everybody participate. I'm going to read an old-fashioned book that won the Caldecott Medal. I love this old-fashioned book called Oxcart Man. And I'm also going to sing Clementine. I'm, I'm going to try my, my best to sing the song Clementine to you. But we're running out of time, Ernie. Should you say goodbye? Bye, kids! I think I should say goodbye, too. Thank you for joining us at the virtual classroom. See you tomorrow.